Okay, so I decided to commentate this game because it was pretty fun, and me and Selenius94 seem to be pretty evenly matched, so it was, was quite a quite a hard game to end up winning. But uh, at the moment, I decided to mulligan all three. I should have kept the three drop in retrospect because it's a good card, but uh, it doesn't matter because I get rid of one of these and get it back, but I should never have gotten rid of it to begin with. Um, and so I drop my Mystic, heal myself. And then me and Selenius are both running Jaxies as soon as he places it. And so as a general, uh, oh, and then he lures me, which is fine. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, I tend to not like actively attack Jaxies unless I have some way to instantly deal with the mini Jaxie. I'd rather just wait for them to ha wait, you know, use the Jaxie on me and then uh, have to wait a turn to fire. Um, right now I throw down the Sarlacc, I believe, yeah. Uh, because this card is amazing. And Abyssians, as far as I've seen, don't really run a whole lot of Dispel, and so he generally will stay on the board all game. So getting them out as soon as I can is good. Also I have this, which means next turn I'll be able to get my Reaver out which is very early. I think that's about as early as you can get it uh, as the starting person. And so what do I do here? Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't deal with Jaxies without some way to deal with them, and so I just go up and face him, and then I summon. Yep. Not the most ideal uh, position for Sarlacc, but oh well. I can't. I didn't see what I replaced there, but I got another one of these, so if I can get another big minion, that'll be good. And he's got to deal with this guy right now. Uh, I run a Breath of the Unborn, actually, to deal with um, Jack True Sights with Vanars. I only run one of them, but luckily he has a lot of Jaxies right on the board, so I'm going to save this until I can deal with his mini Jaxies all at once, if I can. Lots of long turns from Selenius. Alright, what does he drop? I can't remember. He's got five, so he might drop a... Yeah, a Revenant. That's right. So he drops this. Does damage to me, but I get a lot of board. And... Yeah, so I'm gonna deal with this Jaxi, and then I think I Breath of the Unborn this turn. Or he attacks. Does he attack or do I attack? Yeah, alright, so he attacks. And so I'm in pretty bad position to deal with these Jaxies, so I got really lucky that I happen to have the Breath of the Unborn here. Uh, it might have been a little overkill to use it, but I figured I might as well. I'm pretty sure I use it right here. So I've got a very decent hand right now. I've got a way to remove and put board on. I'm pretty sure this turn I also lower with the Sarlacc. Sorry, so yeah, I deal with this Jaxies. I uh, just do some face damage, get some health up. Yeah, and then I summon. I do this, and then I just hope, you know, that I'm going to get a big minion. And then I'm doing this to prevent against uh, that AoE 3 damage spell whose name I cannot remember. But I didn't actually get any minions, and so, or maybe big minions anyway, so this is less than ideal, but I have a way to get board and removal and heal still, so I don't think I cast this guy for a couple turns. Okay, yeah, so that's the story of this game is going to be whenever either of us throws our big shit on the board, it instantly gets removed. And so I'm pretty sure I Ritual Banish and get rid of that. I replaced the Wraithlings. That's fine. And so I actually ended up with really decent spawns for him 
in order to deal with all of his stuff. So neither of us end up with really good board at the end of this. I think I could have, all right, if I'm remembering correctly, I attack and then I run over here. I think I could have figured out a way to get rid of that one as well with Night Sorrow, but it's not a big deal and it wouldn't have been the most ideal uh, ideal trade. And since I was patient, I get a 4-drop Vorpal next turn. So I'm glad that happened. So me and Selenius both have a shitload of healing, so that's pretty annoying to deal with, but it makes this game go on a very long time. But it was a pretty fun game, very tense throughout the whole thing. At this point I'm kind of worrying that he's running this over to drop a fucking Shadow Dancer, that's what they're called, but he just gets rid of it. And so that worry is gone. And I'm pretty sure here I also misplayed. I could have gotten rid of both of these if I didn't suck, but I do. So I run him up, stab there. But see, I dropped this Warpal too early. I should have hit there, run up, hit with the General, dropped the Warpal here, and then dropped the Night Sorrow here to get rid of this. But I'm bad at this game, so... And so I just go for face instead, which is maybe fine. Uh, I run only one of these to deal with, you know, occasional fucking artifacts from these people and the constant artifact spam from Songhai. Um, this actually does end up being useful later, thankfully. But not every Abyssian runs artifacts I've seen, at least not at my shit tier level. And then see, as soon as I get my big threat up, he instantly gets rid of it. And this is fairly decent board. I really am hoping at this point that I could get a Shadow Dancer of my own out. But that doesn't happen. And now he's got a pretty decent threat on the board. And my dudes aren't in a good spot to really deal with it. And he Primus Fists it, so now it's crazy strong. I'm pretty sure I replace a Jaxi, and then I happen to get really lucky and get my Revenant out. And so I deal with that, and then I can't quite remember how the spawns happen here. Yeah, so not the most ideal to deal with all of it, but I can deal with a fair amount of it. Right now I'm just clearing board. I think I clear this guy as well. I probably didn't need to run him down, but I guess I might as well get him closer. And I'm pretty sure I hit this with my general. Yeah, I would have to. And so once again, decent amount of clearing his Vorpal, clearing my Vorpal's story of this game. Now I've got some healing to get even further ahead. He's pretty not in a great spot right now. I have lots of options right now. His deck, or his hand rather, is a little lower than mine. But I'm pretty sure we're not even like halfway done with this game. And so he gets one of these up, which is really scary. Because now I immediately have no plan. And I'm pretty sure I just get really lucky and replace something to instantly deal with it. I don't think either of us had any of our big minions on the board for longer than one turn throughout this entire game. So I'm not sure what I replace here. Yeah, it would make sense to replace that. How do I deal with this? Oh yeah, okay. So this is less than ideal, but it was necessary. That was a pretty decent spawn because now I can keep pressure up on this side. I was pretty happy with that. So yeah, now I go face with this Revenant. 
which is not great, but I have a lot of healing to, to get back up. So now we're both pretty low, but still doable. I don't run any... Um, I don't actually know the name of that spell that gives 5 damage to a minion, but I don't run any of those, but I'm considering doing it because it would have been pretty nice to have throughout this game because we were both pretty low for quite a while. I can't remember if it's this turn or the next one, but I can get my next two Sarlaccs on, and then it's just a ton of crazy board control and lots of free damage. But I'm not sure. I can't remember what Selenius does. Again, lots of long turns. Okay, so I know that he has one of these. And so I know that my Rust Eater thing will come in handy if I can get it again, or if he has multiple of them. Shadow Reflection, that is what it's called, and I did not run any of those. And so he's clearing my shit. I'm not actually sure. I, I feel like it might have been worth it to go face on me, because having 6 versus 11 would have been pretty scary. Pretty sure at this point I'm like, okay, time to run. Get rid of that, and I think. Okay, so I replace my Jaxie, and then I have a lure. So I can either drop two Sarlaccs, or I can drop a Sarlacc and a lure. Or I can. Okay, so I Sarlacc, and then I think I lure him over there just to get him away. I didn't want to put him behind me. It would have, I think, gotten him out for one turn longer, but it would have put him in a spot to pinch me. So. I put him away to only deal with him for one last turn. And this card is pretty nice to pull more options, obviously. But we're both getting pretty low on health, so it's potentially fairly risky to use the Dream Gazer like that, but I'm pretty sure I do at the end of this. can't remember what he does. Alright, so he's going to take some damage on me. We're both getting pretty low on our hand size. That was a decent spawn, because now I'll be able to apply pressure from over here. He kills my assassin, which is fine. It only had one health anyway, so it's not the, not the worst thing to happen. Pretty sure he ends his turn, because of not anything he can do, but we're both running pretty low on hand size. Not sure what he's thinking about. So he's only got one... Okay, so he's gonna get rid of... That is not great, and I had a really lucky spawn because I'll be able to deal with that next turn. Or right now, rather. And luckily I got a healer from my Dream Gazer, so I just gained two health and got some board. Uh, he's only got one thing left on his Spectral Blade, so I'm pretty sure I run this guy up and deal with that. Very not great spawn. Especially since I think he's out of Jaxie, so it's not like this is great. Now I drop a bunch of healing on myself, so that's good. And then I'm pretty sure I dropped my third Sarlacc above him. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have a reason for that other than threats from all sides, I guess. But I'm pretty shit at this game. And so I've got two removals and heal, which is fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if he drops another big minion, I can deal with it right away. I'm not sure if he does this turn. I'm pretty sure I used this to kill one of the big minions. But uh, we'll have to see, because I can't quite remember what happens. Again, waiting on Selenius. He doesn't have a whole lot of options because 
again our hand sizes are getting pretty small this is very questionable because all it gets rid of is sarlax I don't know I'm not sure if that was great and I still got a decent spawn here shit spawn here close enough to kill this though so that's fine and then I'm not sure how I deal with this I thought I killed both of these in one turn but maybe not and we're once again we have so much healing that we were both I think below 10 and now we're both almost above 15 Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, so that was pretty lucky to get lots of removal for free because of Sarlax as well. So I get rid of this guy. Yeah, and then I hit with. Oh, that was really good spawn too. Yeah, and then I get rid of this and then hit with that. Uh, I think I was planning on moving this guy over to hit there, but. Uh, he spawned into it, so oh well. And then run him down. Obviously, there we go. And so now I've got removal and heal again, so my health is going to get even higher. I'm curious as to why he's not running any Sarlax. Maybe he just didn't roll any, or maybe he doesn't have any because they're stupid legendaries, but they would have been pretty annoying to deal with. Two Sarlax or two teams of Sarlax rather, and so again I have the uh, the ritual banished to deal with him. And then yeah, he does the same thing. He buffs it up, so it would have actually ended the game if I hadn't dealt with it right now. I didn't see what I replaced, but this game's going too fast for me. So I get rid of him, banish. And I think I use the heal just to further seal my lead. What I should have done there is actually casted Banish and then waited to see where the spawns were. But I got really lucky and had two right next to me so I was able to deal with one right away. And they spawned right next to my other two Sarlax so I was able to deal with basically all of them. And I got my Sarlax to come right next to me so that was good. I dropped my Jaxi just to create a wall between me and the general because I know that he has uh, blades and so that's scary damage and then I use the healing spell just to increase my lead and so right now I'm feeling pretty decent these two Sarlaccs aren't in the greatest position but they've all been pretty helpful throughout this entire game I'm pretty sure I get rid of this I'm hoping I'm pretty sure at this point of the game I was like screaming at my computer to give me a Shadow Dancer because it would have been a very easy way to finally uh, finally seal the deal I think because we've basically used up all of our removals and so he would have to do something pretty crazy to kill a Shadow Dancer if I were to drop it over here. I'm pretty sure he's only used one lure, so he might be able to do that if I were to get one, but I don't get one for a while. So I had a pretty unlucky Jaxi spawn, it was about 50, or yeah, it was, what was that? No, it was 1 in 4, he didn't have anything blocking it, so I just had a 1 in 4 and it was unlucky, but oh well. Once again, we're both getting our health up. And so, at this point, his stuff's a little too close to me, and my stuff is pretty far away to deal with it. And so I'm feeling scared, and so I decide it's time to run. And what do I do here? I'm pretty sure I kill this. Oh no, I kill the Dream Gazer, which is obviously better. And I got an extremely lucky spawn. I was able to block the Rejuvenator. So that was awesome. Unideal position, but sooner or later, I've only got 10 cards left, I've got to get a Shadow Dancer eventually. Uh, so this is actually decent now that I know that's coming. And then I cast this to just sort of create a wall, because I'm scared of what he might be able to do. He can't do much because he's got only two cards, but 
I'm still scared. I'm a very defensive player. I've got a lot of healing, so I'll be able to get up really high next turn. I'm pretty sure this is the turn where I'm glad that I didn't put this down. I considered putting it down here, I think, last turn, just to get even more bored. But uh, I remembered he had blades. And luckily, he has more than one because he plays it right now. Gets his health up a little bit. And luckily, I'll be, uh, I'll be able to get rid of that right away. So, this one drop is very useful so far. Pretty sure I replace this, and I get my Shadow Dancer. So now I was feeling extremely confident that I was going to be fine. And then I have enough to drop. Yeah, so I just dropped that to get rid of that. And now I'm going to start getting my health back up, because Sarlax are crazy. So now I'm feeling pretty safe, unless he drops like a, a 7 drop rush, but I think he's already used 2 of those, and I don't know if people run a whole lot of 3 of them, but and that still wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, so at this point we're both basically like top decking, because our hands are so shit. I'm pretty sure he just runs up to face here. Oh yeah, so he's planning to just throw a bunch of damage at me, I think. He didn't uh, make use of the gambit here, but it's not like he had a choice, and he wouldn't have been able to kill anything useful anyway, because these would have just come back. So I did three there, and now I'm starting to get a bunch of my health back, because Shadow Dancers are awesome. Now I'm pretty sure I kill this with my general, because I can't kill it with anything else. Drop my rejuvenator between us, just in case he has something scary, but I'm pretty much in the bag now. I had a really awesome spawn right there. So now he's completely blocked in, and he can basically do nothing about my Shadow Dancer. And then he concedes, so that was a really fun game, but very stressful and probably one of the longer games because of so much of our goddamn healing, but it was pretty fun. So yeah, GG Selenius.